So I'm originally from Bermuda. I was born and raised in Bermuda. Uh, I came over for college in 2000, uh, right outside of Philly. And it wasn't until it wasn't until pretty late in the game that I discovered hip hop. In Bermuda, we didn't really have hip hop. Uh, as I'm not ashamed to say, I was in, still I'm in. I think the best battle crew in Philly, Rep Styles crew. We're all old now. <laughs> but uh, then it's like, we, we all loved breaking so much. We all loved hip hop so much. It was like, somehow we have to make this a job, y'all. We, we gotta do it. Cause I don't wanna go get a regular job. I just wanna do this. So, oh, let's start teaching after school programs. Uh, we had no idea what we were doing. Started teaching uh, in South Philly at a one after school program. And, and I'm happy to say that I have four, five, six of my company members now in hip hop fundamentals are from that first cohort that I first taught. So I've known some of them since they were like nine years old. And now they've come back around, they're still breaking and they dance professionally with my company. So when I first got the call from Ambrose, he's like, I've just been waiting for a few years to find this project where I could, where you would be a good fit. And this is the one. So it's, it's the stars coming into line over many years. It's great. I'm so, I'm super psyched. The initial vision that uh, we had, and that's me, uh, you, Melissa, and Ambrose, when we had our first talk, we all really jumped at this idea of creating some dance theater around the idea of what it's like to live in this uh, very diverse and very special area of Philly, the only area, but to use children as some principal dancers in the project. So I'm going to be facilitating uh, youth from the Grover Washington School to kind of help create uh, some dance theater around those topics uh, using breaking. So it's gonna be hip hop, it's gonna be a little weird, it's gonna be very personal to their stories and kind of, but in, a, in kind of an abstract way. But I, I guarantee whatever we make, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be powerful, especially for the young people that are involved in it. In terms of thinking abstractly, their minds are already there. They're not thinking like, they're not thinking like, oh, this is a movie. How does this have to make sense? If we say we're going to create a dance that feels a certain way and that feeling is going to translate to the, our audience, they're like, they're on top of it. So I'm like, man, imagine if there was a project where I could do this stuff that I do in this sphere over here and blend it with this stuff that I do over here. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is the one. Let's give it a shot. But I feel like uh, giving, giving that ability, giving that excuse for them to say, hey, sit down, have this conversation. I'm hoping that there might be some really excited elders who want to come in and watch or, or contribute some text or contribute whatever they want to contribute. But I think the first step will be uh, me introducing myself to the young people here and then trying to help them bridge that communicative gap. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, that, that's how I'm hoping this, this circle of intergenerational story, story sharing is going to end up. Still hitting the ciphers. And as a job where I'm, I'm using it as a tool, as an educational tool and as like an artistic expression. So slowly, like every year, it seems like I get opportunities like this, which help kind of square out that circle. You know what I mean? Or circle out that square, I guess is a better way to say it. <laughs> the other thing I've learned is it's not for everybody. It's a really hard dance form. And you got to be willing to like, you know, roll around on the floor and like bust yourself up and like for those type of people who are willing to put in that kind of work uh and, and it, it just teaches you this beautiful resilience where it's like you take a, a 12 year old and say you're gonna roll around on the floor and, and scrape up your shoulders for years to get one move and they'll do it and then they'll say i want that move i want to be able to do that and i i see it I see it happen